Hello everybody, Toasty Toad here, and welcome back to A Date With Death. Uh, last we left off, Casper, as we learned his name is, brought us some flowers, and we were simping, he was simping, we talked about how sexy hands are and shit. So let's get back to a little flirting. Um, ready to go. You went out for a few errands today, but you mostly hung out around home. It was a good chance for a little out-of-season spring cleaning. All day, you kept an eye out for Casper and his attempts to take your soul, but there was nothing. No strange fires or collapsing elevators or brakes cut on the bus. Today, for the first time in a long time, nothing strange happened to you. And for some reason, it felt weirder than if something had. Got our flower! The buds of your little plant seem to be doing well. You cannot believe how healthy it is. See Stinky? Check on Stinky. Stinky seems to be doing well today. You sit down on the bed next to him and think towards the future. If you ever manage to afford a house with the market looking like it is, you... Let's just get more cats. What's better than one cat? Two or three. For now, you enjoy Stinky's comp company immensely. You hope that Grim Reacher... Blah, blah, blah. That Grim Reaper and Strange Soul notwithstanding, you have many fun times ahead of you together. Tell Stinky a joke. What's a cat's favorite dessert? Dessert, you ask Stinky. Stinky doesn't reply, but you know he can't wait for the punchline. Mice cream. Stinky doesn't laugh. In fact, you think Stinky looks to be judging you heavily. Well, you enjoyed the joke at least. I need to say it. I forgot to say it. All right, let's eavesdrop. Your footsteps from the hallway. You wonder if it's your neighbors again. Eavesdrop. You're sniffing coming from the hallway. The sound of someone sliding down the door. You imagine someone is currently leaning against the doorway of their apartment. You hear fumbling, the sound of someone digging through their bag, searching for something. Then a sigh. A ringing. The sound of someone who desperately seeks another. And then finally a voice. Mom, are you there? Can we talk right now? A light, airy voice starts. No, I'm fine. No, I wasn't crying. I just wanted to talk to you for a bit, if that's okay. Another sniffle. Nothing happened. I'm just confused, and I lost my keys, but I'll worry about that in a minute. The silence goes on for a minute. You imagine their mother is currently fretting, trying to console their child, desperate not knowing what's wrong. Have you ever liked someone so much that it made you terrified? I really like them, Mom. I've only known them for like a week, but I feel like it's been so much longer and I'm scared. There's vulnerability in that voice, immense vulnerability. Their voice is like a plea to something they cannot see, like a wish upon a star. I want to understand them, I want to make things work, but I'm scared I will make things worse. I'm scared that neither of us are what we expect of each other. The fear of not living up to expectations, the fear of misunderstandings, such human emotions. I know, Mom. I know I should talk to them, but it's so much. It's like there's a weight, a secret between us, and I don't know how to bridge the gap. I think I heard them say something last night, something important, but they didn't open up completely, and now I'm torn between wanting to know and being afraid of what I might discover. An internal, an internal struggle, a deep desire. But Mom, I can't stay away. I've never believed in fate, but this, I just need some guidance. What do I do? Silence again. You imagine their mother speaking words of wisdom filled with kindness, love, and worry. Okay, I'll go talk to them tomorrow and make a decision. Thank you, Mom. I love you. The sound of the call ending reaches you even beyond the hallway, and then there's silence. You hope they find their keys. Check our bed. Sitting on your bed, you have a perfect view of a certain bouquet of yellow flowers that was given you yesterday. Given you by the Grim Reaper of all people. The thought makes you somewhat giddy. Who could have guessed that strange talking weirdo could have been such a romantic? Though you've never received flowers before, you've given them to someone else. Childhood best friend. He always thought of flowers as a special thing, a simple thing, but still special. And you felt very special when you looked at the flowers Casper brought you yesterday. Casper's such a cute name. Casper's such a cute name! Alright. Let's see what's on the book. I mean... Dear 
cute diary. Today I found a huge bug. It was so cool. Or maybe they were all arms and I don't know. Anyways, I was climbing this tree and be I don't think that's the actual name. And I was really high up and I fell. And I fell so far I thought I was gonna die. And I got in so much trouble. My teacher keeps saying I could have broke my leg and it was lucky it was just a scratch. My teacher doesn't know is I'm a total total instructable. Nothing can kill me, it's always been happening. Bye, Lilith. Huh. Maybe I should have been reading that. Is that it? Alright. What artwork do y'all want today? What artwork? Let's see. What do I feel like drawing, you insufferable motherfuckers? There ain't nothing more than what an alternative bitch would love as if the Grim Reaper was flirting with them. All I gotta say. That is all I gotta say on that. Cause you know I'm right. Ladies, fellas, anybody. Y'all are a bunch of simps. So am I. So it's okay. There you go, guys. I do this just for y'all. There you go. Here's y'all's picture today. Hope y'all like it. I did a good job. I saved it. Let's see what the internet has to say. Oh! I like, comment, subscribe. Can I download? Feeling a little catty today. Oops, I seem to have dropped something on the floor. Thanks for picking it up for me. Oh no, don't lift my shirt! In the goddamn tarnation, motherfucker! Get, get, can I? Ugh. Okay. Well, got some issues. Let's see. What do we get in our gallery, by the way? We didn't look yesterday. That's cute. 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 I need to seek some help. I need to seek some help. I need help. I need actual help. I need, I need help, guys. I need some fucking help. I know something you can use that scythe on, pretty boy. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, let's get to it. Proceed to the chat room. Chat! These flowers are- oh, I'm not calling you- I'm not calling him Grim anymore. Keep looking at the flowers. You really know how to sweep me off my feet. I just want to thank you again. They're really pretty. Good. Oh, that's a great picture. I really, uh, I'm glad to see you there. Appreciated. The struggle is worth it. The struggle? You don't have any florists near you? These aren't from florists. And no, there are no floors here. Did you grow them yourself? No. They would not bloom like this here. Flowers are rare. And do I look like some sort of gardener to you? I bet... You, yeah, you really give off gardener vibes. How did you get them then? I took them 
from the front yard of a mortal woman. I believe she is what your kind referred to as a grandmother. You stole from an old woman. In her defense, she gave good chase. I was impressed. She chased you down? She certainly tried her best, but there was no hope for her to catch me. Either way, they were much better with better hands. They are in much better hands with you. I've got something of a green thumb, luckily. I've got a plant by my bed and it's growing nicely. Maybe I've got the magic touch. Magic touch, hmm. I feel like you're insinuating something here. I'm talking about the plant. Ah, yes, the plant. I was just talking about you in general. Wow, we, Mr. Flirt over here. Your hands were very soft, I could tell. Even through my gloves. Soft and warm. Shh, you. Shh me all you want. It is the truth. I feel as though if I reached out, our hands would fit each other's perfectly. Are you trying to tell me something? Perhaps I will leave that for you to decide. Rah! So I'm just wondering something. Are you feeling okay today? Why wouldn't I be feeling okay? You're just acting very flirtatious. If so, then I'm being successful in my endeavor. Well, yes. I've read that flirting is a human custom. A custom? Indeed. To flirt with another is to show that you are of significance to yourself. That they are significance to yourself. And you would like them to be of significance to yourself. So, I'm of significance to you? You are what I hunt most greatly over everything else. I would say that makes you significant. My research into various flirtatious methods say that anyway. You research flirting methods? You're cute. Cute and stupid. Uh, it's neither cute nor stupid, it's practical. I'm ensuring the possibility of the best result. This is what I do best, adapt to whatever is needed. And what would be the best result for you? That is something you don't need to know. I mean, it's obviously taking your soul weakening your resolve enough to trick you. Uh huh. Sure, all business. Mortal, I wish I could say I hated you. You are aggravating. Too bad you can't lie, huh? Shut up. You're too nosy and annoying, and I will think of more things later. And you are surprisingly very soft and cautious. No words that have ever been used- Not words that have ever been used to describe me. The more I get to know you, the less Grim Reaper you seem. Maybe I've shown too much of my true self to you. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I have a true self. I exist for my role. Beyond that, I think you're plenty. I like talking with you and seeing new sides of you. Isn't it refreshing to just be you? You can just be Casper. It's nice, I suppose. You call me flirtatious, but I believe you are the flirty one here. Me never! You are fortunate to be able to lie. But I know your eyes have been on me from the start. I cannot fault you. I am a catch after all. Doot doot doot! <laughs> what is the dooting? That's you tooting your own horn. Wow, <laughs> mature. Hey, I didn't say you were wrong. Well, even if you were only flirting with me to get my soul. Can't say I minded all that much. Lord away. It's a salute, doofus. Ah, I see now. I don't see it. I've never seen the salute. Perhaps I shall adopt it. Ah, I've come up with another. This one is a wave. Truly ground <laughs> groundbreaking stuff. By the way, do you get in trouble for flirting? Well, that is not allowed, of course. No, 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 for telling me classified information. Enlighten me. Have a share with you. Asper. Yes. You said your name was highly classified. Not for mortal ears, right? Ah, that 
Maybe some rules are worth breaking. Hearing you call me grim in person made me feel cringe. Who taught you that word? <laughs> I am down with the internet lingo, Lilith. I know what cringe pong and riz. No, God, help us. I've even heard more of this baby girl. Please. You saying things like this is just incorrect, cease. Your opinion has been noted and subsequently disregarded, sunshine. But seriously, your name was actually classified? Correct. If anyone comes and asks about me, then it's best to keep it quiet. I doubt anyone will, anyway. You're gonna have my soul by tomorrow, right? Right. Always best to be cautious, anyway. Though, you aren't the most cautious person. You allowed a total stranger to install a messaging program on your computer, then fell in love at first sight with a handsome face and charming personality. Oh no! My guard's so down right now. How terrible it would be for the Grim Reaper to suddenly show great interest in me. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't bring me flowers and tell me how annoying I am. Such a wild imagination on you. How did you ever think of something so outrageous? You must have been rubbing off on me. Now that... that now that we are both here, though... On a much more serious note, I must admit to you, the other than giving I had an ulterior motive for my visit. Oh. Don't misunderstand, Lilith. I wanted to give you those flowers. I just wanted to test out a theory. Alright, what is it? I was experiencing another bout of soul sickness yesterday. It was a less severe case, but still an awful experience. Alright, it's really a common thing for you, huh? Actually, no. Well, it never used to be for me. It seems to be more susceptible lately, which leads me to an important question. Why? Did you find out why? Let's do this over a call. Wait, is it serious? Are you going to die? Please don't tell me you're dying. If that's what you're going to say, I'm not going to answer. I don't think I'm dying. I'm really not inspiring confidence right now! No, listen, I swear, you mortals are so bad at listening. You in particular. We talked about this the other day. Think back on it. Do you remember? Of course I remember. Good. Do you remember how I felt the day of my after my sickness? You were fine. It makes no sense. It made no sense. I thought it was a mere coincidence that after linking more minds, the symptom disappeared. You jokingly claimed to be healing me with your presence. And then yesterday, the morning I was bearing souls across the live stream, and it was like, else if they trace this conversation, the two of us may suffer for all eternity. At least we'd be suffering together. You always look on the bright side of things, don't you? I picked the right flowers for you. Bright like sunflowers. Bright like a sunflower. Anyway, this is important. You seem very stressed about this. Tell me, maybe I can help. And then answer the call and we can discuss it. Of course I'm gonna answer! Hey. Greetings and all that. And don't just say I'm freaking out over here. Well, to put it bluntly. Yes. You're definitely causing it. I think it's because of you. Me? What exactly is because of me? The soul sickness I'm experiencing. I've gotten it much worse since I've known you. What the? Maybe you're just too radiant. A new nickname, Sunshine, would fit you. Did you get that from souls? I'm alive! Yet I've suffered from it regardless. Are you trying to say I'm doing this on purpose? I'm not really trying to make you sick. I'm not saying that you're the cause of the sickness. But I do think you're the cause why I seem to be more susceptible to it. What does that mean? So seeing me yesterday made you sick? No, my soul was imbalanced before I came to you. 
I came to you see if it would go away. That was my theory. Weird theory, but it did. Sunshine, it did. What? You didn't do it on purpose then? Do you have any clue what you're doing? I have no idea what you're even saying. What are you talking about? It's your soul. You're giving it away, so to speak. What? How? Do you ever wish, mortal? Feel something so strongly you want for something so badly. There are things I have been wanting for strongly the last few days. It's infuriating. Ooh, tell me more. For things that matter, yeah. You said that Stinky was ill yesterday, correct? And now he's fine. Yeah, perfectly normal. What exactly are you getting at? I think you did it then, as well. You were giving parts of yourself away. Your sick pet, to your plant, to me. Things you want to be healthy, things you want to live. I think you are taking the taint away, or maybe neutralizing it, I don't know. I got an even better look at your soul when I visited you. I understand the pulsing now, it's because you don't have a full soul. I don't have a full soul? Is this going to affect ferrying me, my soul to the afterlife? I've never seen a soul that is not full. I cannot answer your question. But if you were to give it all away, well, I assume you would just simply cease to be. Just like that, and I'm nothing? I, I would never forget you. You, our time together. You are rather unforgettable. I think the fact will cause much more trouble in the future. I think I'm special. So maybe try to be careful. Don't wish too hard, that's all I'm saying. How about a shotgun wedding? What? You know, if you're trying to take my soul and everything. If that doesn't happen, I'll accidentally get my soul away all by myself. If I'm not going to be around uh, around long, I'd rather cross a few things off my bucket list first. Uh, this bucket list involves marriage? I didn't care about... I don't care about getting married before I met you. You only live once, right? It, you, ugh. We're talking about something serious, you know. And these are spouting nonsense about marriage. It's not nonsense, I'm totally serious. Let's worry about your soul for now. I'm working out why you are how you are. Marriage, um, we can talk about that later. By the way, Casper, have you ever heard of Casper the Friendly Ghost? The way you can jump from topic to topic is remarkable. You ought to be studying. I don't do that. Excuse me. I've not heard of that, so I suppose the answer is no. Damn. A friendly ghost vibe? I am neither one of those things. Oh, you really do? I doubt, and I could ever have a quiet moment. You have friendly moments, sometimes occasionally. And I'm not certain you aren't a ghost. You're awfully pale. Well, I'm certain I'm not a ghost. Like you said, many times you really do have a vivid imagination. Must you let it run so wild all the time? I'll try and calm down since you asked so nicely. And thank the hells for that. Try and steal your imagination. Try harder. Why you look like that? Cry with all your might. Seriously, what are you doing? Your face is going red. Keep trying. Are you actually holding your breath right now? Just a little more. You know what? It doesn't work. What? My imagination is simply too strong. It cannot be controlled. So that's what you were doing? Why did I ever think you couldn't get any... Why did I ever think you couldn't get any stranger? I was holding your breath meant to help. Honestly, no clue. Sure. You know? 
You've come a long way, huh? You seem less edgy than when we first met. I was never edgy. I am death. There it is. Still, you say stuff like that a lot less. I... I am the same as always. Nothing has changed. Nope. Not my feelings or anything. Not at all. Mighty suspicious, Casper. I don't believe I changed all that much. Maybe it's because we're friends now? I don't see you as a friend. Ah, I see. That kind of hurts, you know. You didn't have to say it right to my face. You misunderstand. I thought it was pretty straightforward. Fuck. I thought you were more perceptive than this. I've been flirting with you for days. Yes, and hells. It's not something I expected I could ever have expected this. I could never have expected this. It's not something I chose. It's it's a terrible idea all around, honestly. Do not want to be friends? Stop talking. I enjoy your company. I really enjoy it, okay? I enjoy it too much, way too much. Why? Why me? Why do I have to feel like this? It's all unfair, honestly. I have nothing but I have done nothing but follow the rules up until now. I've been a good reaper, and now my heart tells me to throw it all away. What are you talking about? What do you mean by too much? I didn't expect to to feel like this. I feel so strongly. You were supposed to be just another job. Oh, you were supposed to be just to be another job. Are supposed to be just another job. You you don't think like that anymore? Your soul is one I must collect. There is no way out of it. It is my job as a reaper. It's a task I must fulfill, but I find myself wanting to disobey. To break all the rules I've been so carefully following till this week. So why don't you? If I do, they'll just send someone else. I am easily replaceable. I am one of thousands. You're not replaceable to me. That's not what I'm trying to say exactly. Okay, what does he want to tell me then? What I'm trying to say is that I... I don't want to be friends. I don't want that at all. I found myself wanting to be selfish. Because I want more. More from you. More than friendship. Are you sure? I'm certain. I like you, Lilith. I don't know why or how or what to do about it, but I... I like you very much. <laughs> Dear gods above, this is the most embarrassing, embarrassing thing I've ever done. Do not perceive me. I want to perceive you. It angers me how much I can't hate you. I should. But instead, you've done this to me. Ruined me completely. Anyway, cool. Now that that's all said and done, I'm gonna go. Time for a long, cold shower. Left. You don't need to be so shy. I am not being shy. Sounds like something a shy person would say. You'll find I'm actually quite forward. A shy person wouldn't be so straightforward about their desires. So you desire me. That that should be obvious to you. Well, you do need a cold shower now. That is unrelated. I must wash my hair, that's all. Glad I have that effect on you. <laughs> I can't just imagine- I can just imagine the smirk on your face. You are a wicked woman, mortal. By the way, since it's somewhat topical... You ever cut your hair? You don't like my hair? I'm actually kind of obsessed with it. I was just curious, it's very long. It must have taken quite the long time to grow. I don't. There's no need for me to cut it anyway. It really suits you. Thanks. Your hairstyle also suits you. you. Just keep growing it out then? You'll just keep growing it out then? No. You just said my hair does not grow like a mortal's. Mine has simply always been this way 
If someone attacked you with scissors, it wouldn't grow back. You plan to attack me with scissors. As fun as it would as fun as it was be to see with shorter hair, no. I wouldn't do that to you. That's just me. And I and I quite like how you are right now. Pretty long hair and an attitude. What more could a girl ask for? Lots of money, fame, immortality. Alright. They sound good too. But I could also settle without. As long as I get my grumpy yet charming reaper, that is. I am sure there's plenty of charming reapers out there. You forgot the grumpy part. Sorry, my bad. Wait a second. You were born with hair that long? What? Can't imagine a baby with hair like yours. You misunderstand. I suppose I haven't really explained. I was not born. I was never a baby or a child. I was created solely for the purposes of Grim Reaper. I've always looked the way I do. Oh. But what about before you were a Reaper? There was not a before. Well, to be honest, I don't know what was before. It's classified, even for me. All I know is that we were created somehow, then given our job. So I seem to live for my job. I literally do. Could you have been a human once? Maybe they wiped your memories. I could not guess. I suppose it's possible. I have a soul, so it came from somewhere. I'm not totally artificially created, I think. So what happens if you want to quit? I probably be forcefully terminated. That doesn't sound healthy. No, I would say death is not healthy. Anyway. Speaking of hair and all that, I'm gonna go wash my now. Still need that cold shower, huh? I will talk to you later, sunshine. Thank you for answering my confession with how about a haircut, by the way. Whoops. Tomorrow, Lilith. The last day of our bet. Good night. Until tomorrow, Casper. Alright, guys. We're leaving it off there. We're leaving it off there. So. If you guys like this game and you want to see more games like this you can like comment subscribe hit that notification button or suggest some other things for me to play in the comment section below i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching take care take it easy till the next time